Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! It is October 13th, and we are here to bring you your weekly updates. Weekly updates! Next week, on Wednesday, we have our first PTO meeting on October 19th. So we're looking forward to welcoming families to that. Um, getting their voices in there, and what do we want to focus on for our school? Yeah, that'll be an exciting meeting because we're going to also talk about what is PTO going to look like here at Clackamas River, and how can we carry out that mission and vision of the staff and students here. So very exciting. Make sure to mark your calendar 5.30 on uh, October 19th, and if you are only able to make it through Zoom, please let us know and we will get a link to you. And today, that Jogathon money is due. However, if it's a little late, we're going to be super flexible to get that money in as soon as possible. And talking about Jogathon, our K through two students, the class with the most laps was Mrs. Gaylor's classroom. Nice work, kindergartners. That's a lot of little legs it, running a woo, lot of steps. It is, and then. For our three through five grade, we have Mrs. Holsey's classroom getting the most laps. So congratulations on those two classrooms. We will make sure that we get a total um, amount of money that was raised for the Jogathon. So stay, stay tuned. Awesome. And this week we got to celebrate with our families and have family breakfast. So we appreciate all of you that were able to take the time um, and come and sit down for a meal with your student. We definitely wanted to do a big shout out to our nutrition department who pulled off some pretty great waffles and blueberries, and then also Freckled Bloom Flower Farm for bringing all these beautiful flowers and pumpkins to our school to help make it a special day. So thank you to all of you. That was amazing. And then later this month, we also have Fall Family Night on the 27th of October, which is from five to seven. Please come, check that out. We're gonna have lots of different activities for students to do, decorating pumpkins, playing games in the pod, and we will have dinner. And what I also like about this, you are going to be able to, if you want to, wear your costumes that evening time and show those off. And one thing that was really handy for family breakfast today was, uh, many of you had gone into the hometown app and got your tickets there. For family night, you will need to get a ticket for your student and for any adults coming to the building. So we look forward to seeing you there. That'll give us a heads up on what we need to do for those dinner plans. So we appreciate you helping out with that. We have read day tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay, which is the 14th. So we will be uh, having students here on the, the 14th for that read day. So if you're invited to that, we look forward to seeing you and working with you on that day. And then the next read day is going to be on the 21st. Mm -hmm. All right, and you should get the invitation for that the evening of the 14th. So look for that so you can get back to us quickly. The other thing we have going on right now is Socktober. Socktober. So we know eventually it is going to be cold outside, even though it is not right now. And we will need socks for our kids and families. So right now we have... Hello Chinooks! We are here with Savannah and Emmeline, and we are going to be counting our socks in the month of October. How many socks do you think we have so far in our container? 250. 250. What do you think, Emmeline? 100. Let's go and check it out. socks okay we have been looking through our student handbook and there are a couple pieces that we wanted to make sure and highlight for you one of those being our apps so we have three apps that we wanted to talk about today the first one is parent square do you know why we use parent square it is a great way for us to communicate with you on what is happening at your school mm -hmm. and parent square will allow you to get a text an email, 
um, or a voicemail to let you know what's happening here. So make sure you have Parent Square. The next one is that hometown we just talked about. It makes it much easier and quicker to get into our events and it helps us with all our planning purposes. And then the last one is My School Bucks. My School Bucks we did not have for the last couple years when lunches were free for everyone, but it is a great way for you to go ahead and put money on your student's account without having to come into the school. We do still take cash or check if you would like to send that in, but My School Bucks is just a quick, easy way for you to do that and also to check your balance. Okay, well, and it is October, which is one of the most exciting times for us because we get to collect not only our staff voice, but also our student and parent voice. So if you have not yet and you're a student, you will get to take a survey that lets us know what your experience is like here at CRE. That way we can target our plans and our time and energy to help make it better for you. And if you're a parent, we ask that you do the same thing so that we can take your voice and put it into our plans for the upcoming school year. We have that trivia time. So last week's trivia, um, we are gonna have Mr. Declan uh, from Miss Gaylor's classroom teach us and show us how he solved that problem. So let's go check out Declan on the K through two trivia. Take it away, Declan. All right, and then also in our three through fifth grade, we have Bella from Mrs. Rutherford's classroom to show us how she solved that trivia question. Congratulations for Declan and Bella for helping us with those. And we have this week's trivia. Yeah. Trivia for kindergarten first, second. It is find the missing numbers. So there's a number line and on that number line, there is a picture with the missing number and you have to figure out what is the missing number. Our new story problem this week is, there are 220 seats for students in the cafeteria. Currently, 134 of them are being used. How many seats are empty? All right. Okay. Only one step to the problem this one week. One step this week, yep. Okay, sounds great. Birthday! And we have some birthdays to celebrate. Happy birthday to you. We are looking at birthdays that are happening the 13th through the 19th. And we don't have any staff birthdays this time. Nope. But we do have a few students. So, Paisley in Miss Freeze's class, Sophie in Miss Holsey's class, Zoe in Miss Arnett's class, and William in Miss French's class. We wish you a happy, happy birthday. Congratulations. All right, we have that golden plunger and golden tray. So for our golden plunger this week, it is going to our K 
kinder and first grade boys. Nice wow, work. Nice job, guys. Way to make a comeback. I think this is their, I think it's the boys' first time I earning that. I think it is that. too. So congratulations. And for that golden tray, it is going back to our kindergartners. Wow. Mr. Uh, Adam Armstrong and Miss McDonald in the cafeteria were commenting on how well the kindergarten group is doing. So congratulations. And because of that, multiple nominations and receiving it multiple times, you all in kindergarten are receiving popcorn for that hard work. Very exciting. We will get that pop for you when it works best for you and your teacher. All right, something exciting coming up next on the 27th we are going to have our in-person assembly last thursday of the month so during that assembly we'll have students that are nominated for collaboration as we wrap up october we're really looking for who lived up to that standard of excellence and was collaborative in their classroom so be ready for those nominations this is we stand Hova. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we hope you all have a wonderful weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you on Monday.